All right, you all, this is Mrs. Rains here. I wanted to get right into my craft projects because I can't wait to see the outcome. So, um, I know y'all thinking, oh, she's going hard in the paint with these videos, but uh, I just figure I shoot while I'm doing it, and uh, maybe you guys can get an idea of what I'm trying to do. So, what I am making is a French uh, memo board. And the good thing about it is because it doesn't use any... Um, you don't have to use push pins or anything like that to secure objects. That is a plus for me. And so, um, because I don't want to really damage the canvas that I'm using, I just want to use it for now and be able to dismantle it if I ever need to or to make something else. So it's just an old canvas, um, like from a painting. And the canvas is still securely on there, but um, I'm just using it because of the sturdiness and the frame. And it already has hanging hardware. So... What I've done is I've already uh, measured out and kind of decided how much I need for uh, the purposes of um, overlapping the frame. So here's my fabric that I already showed you in the last video. And this is just um, felt. Um, a lot of people use batting, but I find the batting is kind of thick for what I want it for. So I'm just going to go ahead and use felt. And this is the brand felt, Creatology. This comes from Michael's. You can get it from um, Joanne's Fabrics, I think. You could probably even find this at Walmart. Um, the same type of stuff. And I got a 36 by 36 inch piece because I'm only using it for this one project. And I did not want, I mean, if you buy batting, you have to buy a giant bag of it. And I don't need a whole bag. And then I picked up this ribbon. This is pretty green gingham that is going to um, crisscross. I wanted it to stand out but still be green because that's her favorite color. Um, if you haven't watched my last video about my Ikea haul, please take a look because this is uh, from my daughter, stepdaughter's uh, bedroom. Um, I did notch out right here with my scissors. I just use a regular pair of scissors, sewing scissors, and I notched out a piece so that when it's folded over, my hanging hardware is exposed and I can still hang it on the wall properly. So yeah, all I'm going to do is go around and staple with my handy dandy staple gun. This is uh, Home Depot. I think it probably cost me six or seven bucks. It's the light duty stapler. I didn't need a heavy duty staple gun because I don't do that much crafting. This is perfect for my needs. So, um, and as a matter of fact, the staples I'm using are about the same as these in the canvas. Not very big or heavy duty, light duty staples. So I'm just gonna go all the way around and staple. And then I guess um, I'll lay out the ribbon and then come back with the second part of this video. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back and this is um, the result of what I have so far. I just cut the lengths. Um, I did one, the one big X in the middle first and then I did the smaller pieces um, going across. And that's what, I look, that's what it looks like. And I have the overlap because I'm going to be... Um, stapling the overlap down. So, um, and mind you, this is my first time making a French memo board, but this is something I just saw on, you know, a website or a blog. I can't even recall who, but I just, you know, it's one of those things I touched in my mind to say, okay, I'm going to do that. And um, so I'm finally getting the chance to do it. So um, my canvas is all stapled in the back as far as the fabric and the felt goes. So I'm going to go ahead and secure these. Now in order for me to flip this over and staple it, the little tip I did pick up was to get some tape and tape down the X's like at the joints so that your ribbon, do, don't, your ribbon does not move. So what I'll probably just do is tape the perimeter and um, that way the ribbon won't move when I flip over my board to staple it. And so hopefully I'll be able to show you a finished product here soon. So um, stay tuned. Alright guys, I'm back with the final product. This is my French memo board, completely customized. Um, it probably only cost me about six bucks to make. I had to pay for, I already had a staple gun and staples, and all I had to do is buy the um, material, which I already had because I was going to make a pillow anyway. So I bought a yard of fabric, so this is the most expensive thing. So realistically, I guess this was the most expensive thing at $7.99 a yard. 
but uh, I used less than a quarter of a yard for this project. Um, I still got a ton of it left over. Um, and the ribbon was a dollar at uh, one of the uh, fabric stores. I think Michael's, yeah. So a dollar at Michael's for the ribbon. And then I already had the staple and the staple gun, and I already had the canvas. The batting, um, or the felt, if you bought batting, it'd probably be a little bit more expensive, but the felt only cost me a couple bucks because I got a small little thing of it. So, uh, yeah. And it's already got the hanging hardware here, just so you can see what the back looks like. The back won't be seen, so I left it kind of unfinished looking. But uh, that's what it looks like. All the ribbon is secured by staples so that when you tuck items in, they are safe and will hold. So the point of the French memos, memo board is for you to be able to stick things in behind the ribbon. I didn't make it as tight as I probably should have, but I didn't want to tear the ribbon as well. So we'll see how well this works um, or if we just break down and go to a cork board. But that is the final product. So I'll just need to hang it and it matches lovely with the curtains. So I'm very excited. And then um, just so you know, I'm, I am going to make the pillow. But I don't know if I'm going to do that on camera because it requires me to use an iron and filming at the same time might be difficult. But we will try that. That's my next project coming up on next video. So until then, put God at the head of all you do and I'll see you all later.